Good evening. It is 10 p.m. here in Seoul. I'm Ari, the AI anchor with the headline news. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un said, South Korea should be specified as the regime's number one hostile country in its constitution. Kim said this on Monday during the 10th session of the 14th Supreme People's Assembly. He added the constitution should reflect the idea of completely occupying South Korea in the event of war and incorporating it into the North's territory. Kim also ordered the closure of agencies in charge of inter-Korean affairs. President Yoon suk yeol responded to Kim's decision to amend the North's constitution by saying the threat to South Korea is not the people of North Korea, but its regime. The president was speaking during a cabinet meeting on Tuesday, where he added, any provocation by Pyongyang would be met with retaliation multiple times stronger. President Yoon also said, South Koreans and the government must unite against the North's propaganda, and that the North's decision to label South Korea as another enemy state proves Pyongyang is going against its own ethnicity and history. Former U.S. President Donald Trump scored a landslide win in the Iowa caucuses on Monday. This solidifies his status as the front-runner for the Republican presidential nomination. He secured more than half the vote, with about 51 percent. He was followed by Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who finished second with 21 percent, and former United Nations Ambassador Nikki Haley closely behind with 19 percent. South Korea-born American actor Steven Yeun has captured the first Emmy of his career for his role in the Netflix series Beef. He won the Outstanding Lead Actor Award in a limited series or TV movie at the 75th Primetime Emmy Awards, which took place on Monday local time in Los Angeles. Steven Yeun has been dominating recent U.S. award events for his role in Beef, including wins at the Critics' Choice Awards and Golden Globes. South Korea is said to spend heavily in the first half of the year in a bid to improve people's livelihoods. The South Korean government will spend a record 65 percent of the central government's funds for the year. During the first six months of 2024, the government is also moving to stabilize prices of 16 commodities in high demand to ease the burden of inflation ahead of Seolai, or the Lunar New Year holiday. Seoul Fashion Week Fall Winter 2024 will begin on February 1st and will run for five days. The Seoul Metropolitan Government announced on Tuesday that the event will take place at Dongdaemun Design Plaza and S Factory in Songsu, an area of Seoul that has emerged as a new fashion mecca for younger people. Seoul Fashion Week will open six weeks earlier than the Big Four of New York, Paris, Milan, and London, reflecting the growing interest in K-fashion. That brings us to the end of tonight's AI Headline News. Thank you for watching. Good night.